The bike pump is a useful piece of equipment that requires no electricity. Have you ever wondered exactly how it works? Well, in this presentation, I will show you exactly that, the mechanics behind a bike pump. To begin, I will first describe the different role each part of the pump plays in inflating a tyre. I will then detail the five stages needed to pump a bike tyre. In the first stage, the piston rises. In the second stage, air enters the chamber. In the third stage, the piston lowers, which in turn closes the inlet valve. In the fourth stage, the outlet valve opens. And finally, in the fifth stage, the compressed air inflates the tyre. But before I explain these five stages, I will describe the parts of the pump. All bicycle pumps share several similar components. The first is the body of the pump, which is the outside of the pump. The chamber that stores the air inside the pump is referred to as the compression chamber. A hose is attached to the compression chamber and in turn is attached directly to the tyre valve, connecting the pump with the tyre. Inside the pump's body is a piston that moves up and down, compressing air into the compression chamber and forcing it through the hose into the tyre. The piston is connected to a handle, which the user holds onto when pumping the tyre. And finally, there, is, there are two one-way valves that are essential in the functioning of a pump. The first is the inlet valve, which allows air to flow into the chamber, but prevents it from flowing out of the chamber. The second is the outlet valve, which allows air to flow in the, into the tyre, but prevents it from flowing out of the tyre. Both valves work in conjunction with the piston. Now that you are familiar with the separate parts of the pump, I will explain the five stages of how the pump works. First, to begin the process of pumping up a tyre, the piston rises when the user pulls the handle. The rising of the piston draws air into the body of the pump. In the second stage, air enters the compression chamber. The inlet valve opens to allow this to occur. The air contained in the chamber is now ready to be compressed. In the third stage, the user lowers the piston, which closes the inlet valve. The inlet valve remains closed while the piston is being pushed down. This means that the air has no other way to flow but out of the hose and into the tyre. In the fourth stage, the outlet valve opens. The built-up pressure in the chamber forces this one-way outlet valve open. And because it's a one-way valve, the air flows only in the desired direction, from the pump chamber into the tyre. In the final stage, air inflates the tyre. The compressed air leaves the pump via the hose and enters into the tyre, inflating it more and more with each downward stroke of the piston. Now hopefully this has given you a good idea of exactly how air enters the pump to inflate a bike tyre. First, the piston rises, drawing air into the pump's chamber. The piston is then pushed downwards, closing the inlet valve, compressing air into the chamber and opening the outlet valve. Air then flows out of this valve and into the hose, inflating the tyre. And there you